flour here. So this is a quick recipe for bubble and squeak. A great way of using up old mashed potato and cabbage and greens. No, this way, this way. I'm just going to fry a few onions in the square griddle pan. This makes bubble and squeak very easy. Then I'm going to chuck the cabbage and the mashed potato and some bit of mustard. You can use any old mustard, Dijon, whole grain. Also, I'm going to put a bit of vegetable stock powder in, which is very useful because it, it breaks up very quickly, gives it a bit of extra flavour and goodness. That's a marigold Swiss bouillon. And I'm going to put a bit of soy sauce in. And a bit of, a bit of black pepper. And maybe a bit of herb, two herbs. Yeah. Tiny bit of herb to Provence and paprika. That's paprika. And then bash it all around a bit. You can always chuck a bit of veggie sausage chopped up in there as well. I'm not going to this time. I don't want to mash it up too much. Meanwhile, the onion's coming along nicely. Just need to get those cooked off a little bit more. Probably done a few too many, but I can always put some aside and use them in something else. I don't go for all this measuring everything out, lark, just chuck it all in. The only thing you really need to measure are things like batters, pastry, that sort of thing, everything else. Just chuck it in, see what it feels like. Needs rescue books. Nearly there, but I like my onions quite well done, so I'm just going to carry on cooking them for a bit longer. Just sort of a couple more ingredients that uh, I could chuck in, which is a bit of tofu with basil. Just chop it up a bit. Pieces. And also I thought a few capers, these little, little um, green things, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. never mind this one look, a few of those in, and a bit of pesto, I like a bit of pesto and things, so I'm going to chuck a bit of red pesto in there. Now some would call those overdone, but I'd say they're just right. Nice and brown. So I'm going to put uh, the onions on in the and then squeak. We'll save a few for something else later. Around. 
So a bit more oil in the pan. I find these pourers very useful. And then that bottle's run out. It is a bit more useful. It's a tablet. Yeah, that will do. It's a tablet. Spread it out. Tip the bottle and squeeze it in. Sort of show it about a bit, not to be too thick. In the essence of bubble and squeak is get it nice and brown, slightly crisp. So let that cook for a bit, turn the heat up a bit, so I've got a medium to high, medium heat. A lot higher than for the onions. So, I'm going to turn it over now. Should be all nice and it's getting nice and brown there. Okay, you're not trying to keep it all in one lump, just turn it over bit by bit. Probably needs, oops, going to get a bit burnt in the middle there. See if it's distracted. We want a bit more oil. So just drizzle a bit of oil in around the edge. It all sort of seep into the middle. Do a little help in there now. Stick a tiny bit more um, soy sauce on top. Let it percolate through. Oops. We just, I never use this. Uh, yeah, it's okay, not too sweet. I never use this, uh, what, flavor. Mm. Just give it a last turnover. Not that, Mum. Not that, Mum. So that's it. The traditional ish bubble and squeak. Oh, looks good enough to eat. <laughs>